Okay, and continue on with Legend of Zelda. <gasps> I got it! I saved up the rupees in the last one and I got the, uh, whatever it was. Majig. So, that's that done. What does this do? Well, it's automatically activated. And I'm blue! But, uh, where do I go now? I go to the first dungeon! So, let's go all the way to the first dungeon. But before I use a bomb accidentally, let's just select the candle and continue on with our little Legend of Zelda adventure. How quaint. Now then, I just have to try and remember how I get back there. I get back there from over here. Ha! Well, uh, clearly not. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Well, oh yeah, yeah, so I think the magic ring, as it's just shown right there, it gives you, uh, it makes you a bit more tough. So I have blue armor and the master sword, I suppose. So let's continue onward. I have to get to the beginning. Oh! Oh, he got me. Right, so I'm at the beginning of the game. I think... Ah! Right, so I just go across one, then all the way up. Don't really need to kill these guys. You just continue going upwards. Get some fairies along the way, and then up we go, and across the bridge to the first Zelda dungeon. Right then. So I don't have a guide for this. I have a, like a kind of a map for the overworld ish. Look at that. Got a key. Yeah, so I have a, I have a map for the overworld, but the dungeons themselves. I could just look at a map for the dungeons, but let's just try and figure them out. Got some skellies. It might be a nightmare because there's probably going to be like <clears throat> walls that you can bomb. Maybe. Ah. Stop time. Now I think, as it's just shown, when you kill every enemy in the area, you might get a key. So, this might require killing them all and getting keys. Okay. Gotta go this way before searching that door. Right, right, right. I think that is the compass which unlocks the map. Maybe? Ah, oh, there you go. So the map's in the top uh, left-hand corner there. Although it's not like... It's not like uh, Super Metroid. It just tells you the general gist of where you have to go. Which appears to be... Huh, you can't get through there. Maybe you can if there's some secrets. The most pronounced uh, is the secret. Uh, okay. Or shall I say, eastmost. And I think I said peninsula, right? I'm not entirely sure because 
I am me, and my English dies <laughs> quite rapidly at times. There we go. Nice little map. But uh, let's check out over here. So the compass just basically tells you where you need to. Ah! I think I saw it. I'm going to sneeze right now. <coughs> ah, well, I've just sneezed. Let's continue onwards. So the compass just basically tells you this is the general way you need to go. Actually, no, that's a lie. It tells you precisely where you need to go. The map just unlocks it from the map. I get some nice keys along the way. Whoa! Okay. This seems like it's important. Come here, little bat. Right, I got the bow. It uses rupees. Right, okay. So, rupees are still valuable. There we go, tricking it. Tricking the AI a little bit. Or well, not, not tricking it, it's what you need to do in the game. So note to self, always uh, check out the remaining bits of dungeons. I would have missed that bow. I'm presuming I'm going to need the bow <laughs> for like bosses and stuff later. Boomerang? You don't need any uh, arrow, uh, rupees. Huh. Okay then. What the? Uh oh. That's the first claw hand. Right, so that ghastly noise is the. Uh... I forgot the name of it. It's. It, it's. <sighs> It's basically a hand that, uh, I know exactly what it is, it's there to um, grab you and uh, take you to the beginning of like the dungeon. I'm just blanking on the name right now, unfortunately. Killing everything for those rupees. Even the paint blobs. Come here. in her yes two of them oh, let me get through well it seems like the boomerang has no effect That was pretty easy. <laughs> and a piece of the Triforce. Aha! Right then. I get hit straight as I come out. Now then. 
Uh, where do we go from here? Aha, right. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. That's actually life potion, so if I'm low on health, it gives me some life. But I always forget. Ah, damn you. Boomerang is actually quite useful. Oh, right, I see. It, 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 it just stuns enemies, which is good actually. It's actually quite useful. I, I was going to completely diss it then and say, no, oh, it's not that great. It's actually pretty useful. Give me that. Come here! Ah! And we have to go across. Right, okay. Doing it all for the rupees. Uh, die. I'm gonna have to go upwards. Right, okay. Right. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. My uh, <laughs> sword shot. Let's go over here. Right then. Right, this is the way we need to go. Uh, is it the way I need to go though? Yes, it is. we go, second dungeon. Yeah, I've done the, in the first episode, if you can even call it an episode, I did the big gathering. Damn, those guys go pretty fast, don't they? And after I've done that, now it's just like the dungeon run, I suppose. Oh, whoa, 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 I don't like... Right, I need to use the boomerang more because they're going pretty quick. Yeah, eat that. Beginning. Hm. Let's try out this way. Well, good thing I have that, that blue magic ring that costs 250 rupees because now I have a... Uh, I take more damage before it kills me. Now then, I could go upwards but I'm gonna check out what's in here. It's the compass. Top, I need to go to the top left hand corner, huh? Alright then. Oh, damn you. You actually got me. I have the key. There we go. Couldn't get through the door. So this dungeon's kind of like a moon. 
It might actually be called the moon, actually. Um, I have briefly looked at the, um... The thingy. Zelda Dungeons. Uh, strategy guide thing. But, like, I'm not religiously looking at it until I get proper stuck. So, this is more like a combat area room that is actually doing some significant damage to me. Right, okay, I'm out of here. Blue boomerang, what does that mean? Does that just mean it does damage? I'm gonna presume it does damage as well as it can go further. But can it do damage? What the? Can I? I can. I can hit those. Thank you. I, I actually do need health, so I might die in this one, but... Ah, look at that. It can. It can do damage. Uh, you know what? Because this room has... It just had a bomb in it, I'm gonna presume it means use a bomb, so... Uh... Ooh. It worked. That noise is the boss, I think. <laughs> Another bomb, which must indicate it can be used right here. Ah, see, I know a bit of Zelda stuff. Dodongo dislikes smoke. Dislikes smoke. So, the next boss is gonna be Dodongo. I have deduced it will be Dodongo. Dislikes smoke. Maybe bombs. I only have seven though. Let's just see what happens. So head on attack won't really work. Unless it does. Nope, you hit me straight on. Come over here, you piece of shit. Ah, there we go. Uh. Bomb him and then hit him with the sword. to now. Dungeon number three next. But in order to get there you have to backtrack. So we have to go all the way. Down? I think we have to go down. Which we didn't have to do. We 
We do have to go over there, though. He did he? Ah! Oh, no. <clears throat> Get out of here. You get to live. Right, beginning of the game. Okay. So just upwards and across. I'm not really actively seeking out, uh... Seeking out the thingamajigs, rupees, but if I get them along the way, I get them. Like, I missed that one, but I'm not actively going out my way just to get every single one of them. Which one is this? Dungeon number three? The bigger blobs now, huh? Still go down one. Get the feeling that there's going to be a lot of hidden walls. But I've just not found them yet. Okay, I think these are the guys that you can only hit from behind, aren't they? Yeah. So they have a shield, which breaks them a bit... A bit more harder than... Bomb. Bomb in always indicates you can use it in this room. <laughs> yeah, nope. I already have keys from the previous ones. Previous dungeons. That bat. Oh wow. Wow. I need to get better at these. These. This. Let's reset that area. Oh, I had the perfect time as well before. Well, I'm through. It's a raft. I, I do need that raft. Yeah, I got, I got the uh, the raft, sure. Whatevs. But will I escape this? Oh, I just appeared right in the middle, not next to the doorway. Whoa, okay, that's a bit disorientating. Uh, okay.
This is gonna be a bigger, bigger dungeon, isn't it? Holy shit. direction so fast that it's hard to uh... whoa that seems crazy whatever that is the skull thing oh, are they just environmental thing I think that is just gonna be the boss isn't it yeah, no, 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 no. I was right in my thinking that that was going to be the boss. Game over. Oh, oh well. And you start over here. Eh. Okay, I'm back. Again. At full health. And I know the bosses, but I don't know how to beat them. So, or her? Uh, I don't know. It's a monster. It could be anything, couldn't it? Uh, <laughs> not discriminating against. No, discriminating. But I can't even speak. Discrimination against monsters. But I think these boys are pretty hard. So, uh. Instead of going all the way over there where it was last time, the thingy. I am going to go over here. Start from left to right, searching every uh, nook and cranny. But those guys aren't making it any any easy for me. I'm pretty damn sure they're called the Dark, uh, Dark Nuts? Dark Nuts? Something like that? I don't know. Oh! Right, so... Those, like, Skull Ball things are kind of like, uh... That would indicate I can use the bomb here, which I clearly can't. What was I going to say? The skull... <laughs> the skull... Oh my god, I can't speak. I've lost my ability to talk. The skull things! They're, they're basically... <laughs> they prevent you from attacking once you get hit from them for a few, mo for a few seconds. Oh my god, that was very hard to say. That shouldn't have been. But it was. Apparently, there's something else you can do here. Because the door hasn't opened. There we go. Yes, I did. I think. I think it was on top of the waterfall. Sword from Old Man on Waterfall. But I've not got a map of the entire area. <laughs> now, um, mm, my map, it, it, it kind of looks like a... Yeah, like an interesting symbol, the layout of this dungeon. Alright, where to now? I can go across one, because I have three keys. So the keys just carry over from dungeon to dungeon. What a useless piece of information, I know where it is, it's in the other room, but... Uh... 
I think I'm gonna throw a lot of arrows at it. But first I have to beat the dark nuts. Alright, I need to get better at this shit. There, got you. Full health, baby. Yeah, yeah, it prevents me from um, using my sword for a bit of time once I get hit. Okay, so I'm going to fire off straight away a few of my... Uh... Whoa, what is this thing? <laughs> right, so that's done. Whoa, 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 you get faster. Got you. Yeah, nice. That thing is going straight at me. Alright, so that's Triforce. It's been built up slowly. Right. Okay then. So that was that one. I'm totally not just skimming through my phone's photos to look at stuff. Uh, okay. Huh. The enemy that just appeared there looked like uh, one of the Shrieker things from... Is it... Are they called Shriekers or something like that? The, the Shrieker Slate or something from... Breath of the Wild. I have got like a lot of Zeldas and I've just not played them. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I, I have got Breath of the Wild and stuff like that and um, I enjoyed it but like I decided why not to start from the beginning. The original. The only Legend of Zelda game that I have actually completed and that was with like a strategy guide was the um, Twilight Princess for the first Nintendo console I ever had, which was the uh, the Wii. I know, shame on me, I didn't get Twilight Princess on a GameCube, even though I have a GameCube. All right, so it's just a it's just a hell of a long journey towards the right and then upwards for a bit of health. All right, got it. That was cheap. Yes, and then upwards and onwards. I wonder if I can just get this one. Right, so I have a raft, right? Which appears like I can't use it. Okay, whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow! Galva. I can use it here though. And go down here. Take any one you want. Well, why won't you go for the health? It's the most important one. Right, so, uh, what do we have to do now? We have to go. A huge uh, sidetrack to the left. Right. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I go down here? I don't think I do. I have to go upwards. Just gotta keep on going until I see land. Well, see. Huh. 
That's a lot of enemies. Now we go downwards. All the way down. Ah, I hate you. Hate you too. Uh, okay. All right, over here. Give me hearts. Ugh. Kind of pain, but whatever. Hey, I got my heart though. Is this dungeon four? It might be Dungeon 4. You're going to find this out with me very quickly that I kind of just go, um... Ah! I kind of just go to the left all the time. When, uh, when I'm methodically... Maybe that has something to do with, like, being born in Western countries. Like, I know in, like, uh, Eastern countries you read from right to left, but you read left to right in Western countries? What are these things? Are oh, they good? They turn into more bats. That's what I wanted. Yeah, so I, methodically I always go from left to right whilst I trying to solve something. This looks like it requires this guy. Which it did. Okay. Yeah! Well, there's nothing else in here. But now we know where the boss is, because I'm pretty sure that means it's the boss. Yeah. Got three keys, huh? Guys, that was two guys. Ah, uh, you bat. I oh, know that was such an amazing diss. I called him a bat, <laughs> which he was. Whoa. Spooky. Right. This is like the dark cave or something. It, it's really just... Oh, I didn't even know the flame could... Of course it can hurt people, it's a flame. Oh, snap. Right. Is this guy gonna bounce on over her? I guess he can't. Oh, I can use the raft to get over it. <coughs> That's what I can do, I didn't even go fully into this room. Right, 
so. There we go. Wait, am I getting near the bot? What is that? <laughs> Surprised that didn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? I think that takes your items, doesn't it? Or something like that. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it just takes your life. All right, so... Mm, mm. I'm not sure if this is going to work. There's nothing in here. <laughs> Seems like it's a useless room. But that's never usually the case. I've just not found the purpose of it yet. Oh my god, come on. Well, there's a map there, which is nice. Huh. Well, we know the map's in here. Just how'd you get there? This is slowly turning into the most annoying uh, dungeon. Oh, wait, 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 what? That's gonna go straight for me, isn't it? Uh, can I get across? Apparently not. Okay, all right. It's one of these dungeons. Um, Nothing in here. I'm just trying to see if there's anything I missed. I got two keys, but Why can't I, uh... Shimmy on over. The fire hurts me as well. Right, I got it, I got it, I got it. Right, right, right. So, yeah. <clears throat> It has to do something, it, there's got to be something to do with light like, over there, it has to be. <coughs> I mean, it opens up, the door opens, physically. So it opens up, you're meant to go in here, there's, there's got to be something in here that you can that. It was goddamn that. What is this, a ladder or something? Looks like a ladder to me. Yes, I have the ladder. Which means I can go across water now, probably. Like I can uh, shimmy on over water. 
How does that make sense? Uh, who cares? But it's not going to be... I wonder... Aha! Right, I see. Right, so it only goes across one. Which is good, because now you can go like that and get over here. Oh, so that, that heart that I found earlier, I can get it now. If I really wanted to. gonna make it a bit awkward though for the uh, these water sections because it's gonna accidentally keep on plodding along with that shite oh thank god there's not much left to do with this dungeon the main guy now, that dude. Uh, you know what? Huge mistake. But I'm using the potion. There. into the waterfall. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Now, is that just an empty... That might be just an empty... Uh, or maybe it's two uses. I'm going to say it's two uses. Go. Uh oh. This doesn't look too good. It's not. It's not good. It's a dickish room. I could have went for that, but I'm playing it a bit safe. push it this way, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the boss. Here we go. Oh. Twin-headed dragon, huh? Oh. Oh. Well, I can hit there. Well, I was hitting it. That seemed to work, so I'm not going to argue with it. And there you go. Another bit of the Triforce. And, uh, you know what? I think I'll call it that. I'll call it that. Just got that little um, 
piece in the middle of the Triforce to build up. I thought it was just three pieces. I guess... Oh, I, I think it's just like you're building up one of them, and it's just one of the three. What is it with Link? It's like wisdom or something like that. Uh, whatever. I'll be continuing on next time. Right, until then, bye.